Hello, I'm Graham Fuller. I'm the New York film editor of culturetrip.com. The Cohen Media Channel has asked me to introduce some of the films in its collection starring the great Charles Lawton. Lawton is one of the most uh, complicated actors to have worked in Hollywood and Britain in the 1930s, 40s, 50s and early 60s. He's one of the greatest, but he constantly makes you ask the question, is he a genius or is he a ham? There are times when he's both within the same film and there are times when he is simply a genius. The three films I'm going to talk about today are St. Martin's Lane, directed by the American Tim Wellen in 1938, Alfred Hitchcock's Jamaica Inn, also from 38, and Forever and a Day, uh, an American film made to support the British war effort in 1943. St. Martin's Lane, I think, was a project that must have been very dear to Charles Lawton. He plays a street busker uh, performing for the theatre goers in London's West End, who strikes up a, uh, a friendship, indeed a kind of love, with Vivian Lee's young Liberty. Uh, she's a street urchin. He sees her dancing one night in, a, in an abandoned house and uh, kind of adopts her, although he falls in love with her. I think it's worth questioning what kind of love he does have for her. It certainly doesn't seem to be romantic or sexual, although he proposes to her. Um, the reason I think Lawton must have loved this film is because, as is well known, he was a closeted homosexual who was married to fellow actor uh, Elsa Lanchester, and they had a very long and um, uh, deep companionship. And this is kind of what Vivian Lee and Charles Lawton have in St. Martin's Lane. Although she falls in love with uh, Rex Harrison's uh, musical producer, um, still her, her fondness for Lawton's Charlie is, 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 is very deep and very loyal. Lawton is a cockney in this film. Charlie is a cockney. He's, he's a bumptious uh, uh, Jack the Lad who nonetheless um, lacks confidence at times. He doesn't know how to court Vivian Lee's liberty. Um, he really just knows the streets, the street argo. He knows, he knows how to get money off of the people queuing uh, for, for the plays with his, with his flamboyant recitations of, of poets like Kipling. Lawton's character seems to me uh, quite a simple, uh, troubled man who hasn't really been able to find his lot in life. Um, he, he really is most content performing uh, as a busker. And when Vivian Lee tries to, to uh, win him parts, in, in, in West End shows, he turns up for an audition, but really just shouts his lines. And uh, as you'll see, it's not to be for him. This movie depicts a, a, a great but atypical love affair between one character who doesn't have the wherewithal to move on in life to a young woman who is shooting for the stars, as Vivian Lee was. It's a there's a tremendous rapport between Lawton and Lee, and uh, I recommend St. Martin's Lane, beautifully filmed by Whelan, most wholeheartedly. Jamaica Inn was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and in many ways, it's an atypical Hitchcock film. He had recently made 39 Steps and The Lady Vanishes, two cracking spy thrillers. Jamaica Inn, uh, based on the novel by Daphne du Maurier, who would later write The Birds, is the story of shipwreckers in 19th century Cornwall. Lawton plays the, the local uh, squire um, who is, the, is the, the financier of the, of the brigands who, who lure ships onto the rocks on the Cornwall coast. Uh, and when they come aground, they ransack them and murder all the, all the sailors and take whatever contraband they can. Into Lawton's world, comes uh, a young woman played by Maureen O'Hara in her first film. O'Hara was Lawton's discovery and she plays the niece of the head brigand who works for, uh, for Lawton's squire. He is immediately taken with her and uh, as the story evolves he, uh, he, he, he tries to abscond to her with her abroad um, as, as, the, as the wrecking crew uh, comes a cropper on the Cornish coast itself. 
Also in Jamaica Inn is Robert Newton in an unchar uncharacteristic role as uh, 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 an officer who is working undercover in the wrecking crew. Um, it's uh, seldom that Robert Newton would play a, uh, a romantic lead, um, but this is the nearest he did at this point in his career. And of course, the Cornwall coast would play a, a significant role in Newton's uh, later career as, um, as various pirates, most famously uh, Long John Silver in Treasure Island. But it's Lawton's film. Uh, the Squire is, uh, is, uh, is a, a, a conceited bully who is uh, clearly on the verge of madness. Um, it's, a, it's typical for Lawton and it's one of his uh, most rhetorical performances. It's also, however, one that he fully contains. Uh, whereas in St Martin's Lane, uh, you see Lawton uh, doing lots of bits of business. In, in Jamaica Inn, Lawton, Lawton's character is more consistent. Um, this vain, um, cruel, murderous bully um, is a fully conceived and beautifully performed character. Um, it's been said of Lawton that when he played villains that he would go off and go, on, go off the deep end, but uh, his squire in this is a, is, is a remarkable achievement. Lawton had already been to Hollywood and uh, he had starred in The Old Dark House and uh, Ruggles of Red Gap, which was one of the films that brought him to the attention of American audiences. Back in England, uh, he appeared in Forever and a Day in 1943, which pays a little homage to Ruggles the Red Gap because he plays in it uh, a tipsy butler uh, who uh, is, is one of the denizens of the, of the house, which is the framing device for the whole film. Uh, Forever and a Day uh, is about uh, the journey, really, of a, of a house um, through 150 years in London. It's a house overlooking uh, uh, a, a, a subway station, a tube station, during the Blitz. Um, and an American, played by Kent Jones, uh, is being um, asked to sell the house to an American woman, played by Ruth Warwick from Citizen Kane, who has had uh, a history, her family has had a long history at this house. Over the passing decades, we see the house passed down through a series of uh, nobles and rogues and uh, two warring families compete for it. Uh, Lawton's character is, as I say, just a cameo really, uh, a tipsy butler. But one of the great delights of Forever and a Day is that in one single shot, Lawton's character appears with Buster Keaton, who plays a plumber's assistant. The lady of the house at that time uh, has installed the house's first bath, which is great consternation, of great consternation to her, her husband. Um, the, the, the bath comes and is uh, the subject of removal. And at one point we see Keaton and the plumber lugging the, the bath downstairs. And there, as I said, we see the great Charles Lawton and the great Buster Keaton momentarily in the one shot. It's a little bit of movie history. So there's Charles Lawton, an actor you, it's impossible to take your eyes off, even if you suspect that he's overacting at times. More often, he's, he's performing with uh, uh, an extraordinary brilliance, dazzling us with his vitality, with his, his power as an actor. Uh, I recommend these three films. Uh, they, they show different aspects of him as an actor and uh, it makes one want to, to see more of Charles Lawton and to, to look at Mutiny on the Bounty and other films in his remarkable resume.